Hello folks, I made this video in response to somebody asking in the comments of the other video to make a short tutorial about a full flight uh, with this type of aircraft, uh, the Cessna uh, Citation X, uh, and in particular on how to operate the autopilot. Um, I apologize for my English uh, since I'm not a native speaker. Okay, so let's get started with uh, the plane on the runway at Palermo Punta Raisi. Our plan is uh, uh, to destination Pantelleria, which is a beautiful island here in uh, just uh, 100 miles south of Palermo, uh, where we are taking off from. Um, the important things to do in order uh, for the autopilot to work uh, fine is uh, to fill all uh, of the performance data requested in the FMC pages. Uh, this will uh, this way we will have an LAV working for the lateral guidance and also a full working VNAV to follow the vertical profile. Uh, okay, so let's have a look down to the FMC setup. I've prepared the flight plan uh, in uh, uh, with SimBrief. Uh, we load it, activate. Okay. Um, here are the waypoints. If you can take a look to the sky vector map, Paramo Punta Raisi. This is the flight plan to Pantelleria here. We choose the part procedure. We are taking off from runway uh, 07. We have a look at the wind. The wind is calm. Local QNH uh, 1023. Uh, 7. Uh, our SID is uh, Tango Romeo Papa 7 Alpha. Activate. Navigation. Arrival. Uh, Pantelleria runway is going to be uh, 2.5. We are opting for the Arnav uh, approach, runway 2.5. And the uh, arrival is going to be uh, the Robert. Uh, uh, the Robert uh, is 2 Romeo. Here we have the three Romeo uh, because maybe the Herak cycle is uh, it has been updated. Okay. Then activate. Okay, so then we go to the Perf Init page. We go through the all five pages. We can review the um, the speed climb cruise descent speed in it B transition altitude is 5,000 feet here and we will uh, have a uh, final cruise level of 250 uh, we cannot change uh, ISO deviation okay next page it's important so um, when we click, we double click the fuel. Uh, we'll uh, this will initialize the vertical profile, so it, it's important to click on the fuel. Then we confirm the init. Next, next, next. Perf init. Uh, perf takeoff. Next, next. Dry conditions. I prefer to use the uh, flaps of 5 degrees. Confirm. Next page. And we have th this uh, reference speed that we can read. We can read also in a PFT here in Magenta. Okay. If we go to the flight plan, you will see that all the altitude fields have been filled. And so we will we will have the VNAV available. Great.
Alright, another important thing to remember uh, to do if uh, we want to have the LNAV uh, already working as soon as we take off is to switch navigation source from NAV to FMS mode by pressing this button. So you can see we have the magenta line to be followed. Um, this is a very fast and light jet, so everything is going to happen very quickly. Uh, but having all the things set up prior to departure, uh, we will need uh, to only press a couple of buttons to keep the situation under control, especially during the initial climb. So uh, we can preset the LNAV and the VNAV on the MCP. Great. So we are good to go. London lights on. And passenger signs on. We take a look to our ACUS. Uh, so, Pito static on. Auxiliary pump off. Uh, flaps will be uh, 5 degrees. 1. And then we adjust the stabilizer trim uh, to be inside the green arc. So we check by releasing the parking brake that an ACAS is blank, no blue, so no warnings. Okay, parking brakes back on. Transponder. Uh, well this is not suitable for an IFR flight so we change to something else okay we are good to go parking brake off some power and then power set Climb thrust detent. Speed alive. Eighty knots check. Very quickly V one rotate. Pause the rate of climb, gear up. We keep on trimming up until fifteen to twenty degrees and then we can engage the autopilot this way. Second thing to do is to switch to climb detent thrust mode. And then as soon as speed is increasing we clean up the plane. So flaps up, slots up. And you will see that the pitch is increasing to maintain speed below 250 knots below 10,000 feet. Passing 5000 feet, we can switch to bottle standard. We have already set the final cruise altitude of uh, flight level 250. If you wish, you can review the flight plan by pressing the MFD map button and by means of the, this two, these two buttons you can review and scroll between all the waypoints. Okay.
10,000 feet check, landing lights coming off, and passenger signs coming off. FMC speed has been changed to 270, and the plane is climbing to cruise altitude. I would say very quickly. Okay, that's it for the departure, uh, and in another video we will uh, have a look at the uh, descent phase, the approach phase, and landing and so on. Uh, for the moment it's, uh, it's okay, so I hope this video has been useful to you. See you next time, bye bye.